What happened to him? Ma'am, I believe he made too many donations. Well, isn't that a good thing? No, ma'am. Not these type of donations. Hey everyone, this is Fun Around, and my name is Jordan, and still had some bad breaks uh, for today. Uh, Cade Cunningham made eight points in the last two minutes to barely go over uh, when I had his under on points and rebounds. Um, he just came out of nowhere and started scoring. Dorian Finney-Smith, an hour before game time, they say they're going to put him on a minutes restriction, which I never would have taken any of his props if I knew he was going to be on a minutes restriction. It happens, and I want to clarify what I said yesterday for anyone who was watching that video. When I said I wasn't enjoying making the videos, it was more of you know, after the events in December, I felt like a robot and... I wasn't having fun with the videos. It had nothing to do with haters. I don't care about the haters. If someone feels like they need the hate on me for trying to help people, then you know that's their problem. And uh, you know I hope the best for them because life is too short. But anyway, there are two games for Sunday. Lines are not out right now for the Kings and the Thunders game due to the Thunder being on a back-to-back. -back. And uh, they're, I guess they're still trying to figure things out uh, since that game had just ended. Which I do want to say with one hater says that I copy people's picks when I do my videos the day before most of the time. Um, so there's really no one to copy. And I do spend hours uh, looking at data and all kinds of stuff so um, there's no copying any pics and one funny one was someone said I, I was copying Steven from just a bet outside who I'm friends with and I told him I was like hey man it looks like I'm copying you um, even though my videos come out like four three or four hours before you and he's like oh I, man maybe I'm the one copying you and it's just like man people find the same pics so you'll see images that come up on the screen those would be from a data app called outlier I have the images for the Celtics heat game and I want to start off with a pick that has been hitting 10 times in a row and as we say here on the final round when everything is green we smash it until it goes red this channel is family friendly so Derek White has hit 1.5 blocks plus steals in 77 percent of games this year he's on 10 straight um, he's got this in two games against the heat this season so I'm just riding the wave uh, with uh, Derek White over 1.5 and it's at minus 125 I, I i don't know why this doesn't become you know like a minus 150 play but um if, as long as they keep it at minus 125 you keep playing it so next pick for the celtics i like Jalen brown scoring the heat give up the 13th most points to the small four position over the past month but i don't like his full game prop the last time they played it was a 30 point blowout and he really isn't hitting his full game prop at 18 and a half points. Um, some due to blowouts and he's not playing many minutes. But I do like his first quarter points over 4.5. He's hit this in 75% of games this year and seven out of the last eight. He's hit this in both games against the Heat this year. And also I like his first half points at 8.5 and he's hit this 73% of games this season. And in the two games against the Heat, in the first half, he had 13 against them and 15 against them. He's known to start off hot, and he's been doing that with the first quarter, first half. It's just full game, it, uh, not quite getting there for a lot of the games as of late. So if you guys could, could you please like the video? And if you haven't, please subscribe to the channel. And so I don't sound like a robot, you can just put your favorite food in the comment section and that helps out the channel so for the next game um, i'm i'm gonna give you some good matchups uh, for players that i like um, the first one's gonna be shea gilgis alexander the kings are giving up the 13th most points the six most rebounds and the 12th most assists to the point guard position and i'm picking him because he has played really well against the kings this year averaging 38 points six and a half rebounds and seven assists in two games against the kings and then the last five games he's averaging 28 points six rebounds and eight 
assist. So I imagine his rebounds and assists are going to be really close to both of these averages. It's just the, the points line is going to be the one to keep an eye out on. How high are they going to put that? Is it going to be 32 and a half, 33 and a half? Uh, where they normally have it at depending on that you could go rebounds assist or you know if it's, it's if it seems doable uh, definitely points rebounds and assist and then last pick uh, DeMontis Sabonis has a really good matchup against the Thunder the Thunder give up the six most rebounds and the ninth most assist to the center position and it shows this season he's averaged 14 and a half rebounds and 10 assists against the Thunder. So I took a look at his last five games, how many assists and rebounds, and his 14 and a half rebounds and 10 assists again. So pretty consistent there uh, with rebounds and assists. Uh, for DeMontis Sabonis and the matchup is definitely there. So the part where I definitely feel like a robot shouting out my partners, Underdog Fantasy, Sleeper, Parlay Play, and Chalkboard. You can use promo code FINALROUND11 on any of these and they'll match your first deposit up to $100 and Sleeper does it up to $500. There's links in the description with the promo codes that'll take you straight there. So good luck to anyone betting on these early games and good luck to anyone betting on the Super Bowl. I hope the team that you want to win wins. Uh, if you've watched the Super Bowl special, um, you'll see who I wanted to win. Uh, so you can definitely check that out if you have not. And God bless you all. It's the final round. I will catch you on the next one. Bye.